Hello SNU family, we are so excited to welcome you guys back into the gym as we enter phase three. I know you guys are all eager to come back, start working out and get back to a regular routine. And cleaning up your diet can be quite challenging, especially if you're so used to indulging at home. Um, the abundance of free time, the endless snacking, how do we address these cravings that we've developed? And this is what we're gonna talk about today. The most important thing to consider when talking about cravings is to make sure that we're meeting our body's foundational nutritional needs. Cravings can be an indication that you're missing nutrients from your diet. Remember, your body is designed to survive and not look sexy. So if you're giving your body everything it needs, it'll be a lot easier to bypass these cravings when they come along. Here's some reasons as to why you might be experiencing cravings. Not enough protein and fiber. Your protein needs differ based off of your height, your weight, your activity level, and your health goals. However, generally speaking, men need about 56 grams of protein per day and women need about 46. Another reason is dehydration. Oftentimes, your body is not able to make the distinction between being hungry and thirsty, so I recommend always reaching for a glass of water before reaching for a snack. Your body needs about two to three liters of water a day. I recommend keeping a big glass nearby so it's really easy to get your fluid intake. Not enough sleep. Your body needs about seven to eight hours of good quality sleep. For those coming back into the gym, this adjustment might require you to have extra rest than normal to help your body recover. Sleep deprivation causes a hormone imbalance between two hormones called ghrelin and leptin. Lower leptin levels uh, decreases their ability to feel full and an increase of ghrelin increases their hunger. It makes sense, you're tired, your body wants energy, so it's looking for more calories. Lack of sleep is the primary cause to weight gain. So if you're having trouble getting to sleep, my recommendation is to reduce caffeine close to bedtime and create a bedtime routine that will help calm your body down and it will signal that it's time for bed. Now, if you're somebody that tends to crave salty foods, chances are your body might be responding to chronic stress. The adrenals, the little hats that sit on top of our kidneys, excrete hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol. Chronic stress and over of those hormones may leave them depleted and your body's naturally gonna look for minerals to help calm your nervous system down. And that might show up as chips, salty food, fried chicken, but when you know that this is what your body is looking for, you can help address it and give those nutritional needs to your body. My recommendation is to add a magnesium supplement to your diet incorporate a greens powder supplement that's filled with minerals for your adrenals, and manage the stress that's showing up in your life. Now, if you're somebody that can't go without a sweet treat, you may want to address your gut health. This might be caused by frequent use of antibiotics, frequent use of over-the-counter medication, environmental exposure such as cleansers, pollutants, fragrance, a diet rich in processed and sugary foods, and chronic stress. Now, this imbalance might create what feels like an irresistible urge to have sweet treats. My advice, fill your diet with whole foods, take a probiotic supplement, or incorporate more probiotic-rich foods such as kombucha, miso, sauerkraut, kimchi, and don't forget to remove the culprits that are causing this, such as the sugary treats, and manage your stress level. Mindful eating. Sometimes our cravings are emotionally charged. I found with my time at home, food became my only source of joy and the only thing that I control, even as a nutritionist. There wasn't much to look forward to, socializing became non-existent and predominantly done through screens. What worked for me is getting real on why I'm eating. I would ask myself often, am I actually hungry? What am I feeling? What am I avoiding? And is there something else that can give me comfort instead of food? My advice, try incorporating more joy into your life. For me, I like creating more happiness habits such as dance parties, which are lots of fun. When you're able to address the root cause of why you're emotionally eating, it's easier to scale back and develop healthy coping mechanisms that aren't just food. Awareness on why your body is craving certain things is really helpful in getting you to your health and fitness goals. Getting clear on your why so you can be proactive in making the necessary changes to get there. I hope you found this video very helpful. Stay tuned for my next video on what healthy swaps you can make for your favorite cravings. My name is Michelle, I'm your holistic nutritionist at Strength in You, and you are one strategy away from crushing your fitness goals.